Hi everyone, welcome to the session on the how to change the default directory of the Jupyter Notebook and in this session we will learn how to change the default directory using the configuration file. So what we will do, we will open the command prompt and in the command prompt we will type this command Jupyter Notebook hyphen hyphen generate config and this command I have got from the stack overflow if you go to the stack overflow there is this uh, how to change the Jupyter startup folder for the this uh, gen how to generate this config it file okay so first of all we need to generate the config file so we'll run this command okay so the moment we do this we execute this our config file is created and we'll take a backup control C control V and then we will open this edit okay and then we'll search this value okay notebook app hyphen okay this is the value right this is currently this is uh, being commented and this is null so what we will do we will create a folder here config file and then we'll copy the the location okay the path of this file and we will go to that jupyter notebook we will uncomment this and then we'll come here okay so let's see if we save this and now if we type here Jupyter notebook what will happen let's see if you see here this is showing us the error right we are get, getting this error right this unicode error give or you need to give forward slash okay we'll save this and now again we will run here come out of this is you have to press ctrl c again you run this Jupyter notebook let's see what happens now now it's running and if you see here it will go to this open in this folder create a new notebook we'll type pwd okay. So you can see here inside the config file the new folder is being opened okay now what i want to do is instead of this if i want to give this double config file is there right i want to give a space in the naming okay here okay we'll copy this path again open this our existing config file this is our existing config file right so we will change this okay and if we again type here jupyter notebook so what will happen let's see so it is not taking the basically it's not taking the space right because it's going to the default like so for that what we need to do is uh, let's give here double quotes okay and let's try now whether it will work because as per this uh, it is mentioned that uh, like make sure you forward slashes in your path and use home this and uh, backslashes could be used if in place of double quotes quotes if you are uh, even if the folder name contains spaces okay we'll try this so so finally it's working now right if you see here now this is i'll open one more i python kernel okay just one more kernel here and uh, i'll just type present working directory so it is coming even though there's a space in the name of the folder it is taking and the most important thing that i want to show is you have to give give the double quotes in case there is a uh, there is a space in the name of the folder you have to give double quotes and also the double slash that is what mentioned in the here in this step number five so and also very important thing is this is nothing but the hash is nothing but the comment so we have to uncomment it and in this way we can change the default uh, we can change the default directory of the Jupyter notebook and may and please note if you don't if you remain this as it is then whenever you open your uh, Jupyter node it will open in this folder so I will simply uncomment it uh, comment this out okay and let's try now what will happen okay now if I open Jupyter notebook so it will open in users see user Imra okay let's see yeah that is my default library so in this way uh, like we can use this method to open the Jupyter notebook uh, we can change the default directory of the Jupyter notebook using the configuration file. So thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video, which is related to how to uh, change the default directory of a Jupyter notebook using the manual commands. And also I will cover the same uh, manual command with bat file also in the same video because these are very small tasks. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.